All right, everyone, we are going to go ahead and get started. Again, my name's Amanda. I'm here to train you on getting started with Frederick, and I'd like to welcome and thank you all for attending today. And by the end of this training, you'll know how to set up and utilize Frederick to increase revenue and customer loyalty at your business. You'll also be able to create email campaigns and analyze results in the Frederick system. And welcome to Frederick, everyone. So what exactly is Frederick? Frederick is an automated marketing system that puts a business's data to work using algorithms that target the right clients at the right time to keep them engaged, drive sales, and promote new business. Frederick automates many marketing activities that can typically take a very long time for you to do on your own. Even if you are using MailChimp or constant contact with your customers, that could still be very time consuming to really focus in on marketing effort. Frederick helps you with this by leveraging the data in your booking software to help determine the best times and discounts to offer your customers. So that way you're driving business when you need it. And with all that time and the resources you'll save from Frederick's automated marketing, you can get back to focusing on your customer's experience. But don't take it from us. Listen to these glowing reviews from our clients. Frederick does the whole job of a marketing team and keeps us free to focus on our customer experience. And that's Darcy from Emerson Salon. Uh, Salon Labella says, it's always hard to find avenues to promote your business, and filling in those empty spots seems impossible. When it comes to rebooking, forget it. Frederick saved us from all those troubles. I continue to be impressed with the program. Since we've signed up, we've generated 155 new appointments, over 8,000 in revenue, and recaptured 28 lost clients. And John from Heavenly Massage, just like most of our other clients, quickly realized the investment in Frederick was worth every penny. And today we will focus on the best way to set up the Frederick account in order to align with your sales goals while enabling you to take advantage of the automated marketing without having to keep adjusting these settings. We will also look at how to use the dashboard to measure success. And since Frederick is automated, once we set it up, we can kind of just forget about it, and Frederick will constantly be touching base with clients regularly on our behalf, trying to get them to book. When logging into Frederick, we will first see this dashboard, which will start to populate information once campaigns are sent and customers start to engage with them. But this is just a high-level view of what's going on for this month. And as these blocks of data start to fill in with information, we can click on any of the tiles that we see here to look at the corresponding reports that make up these numbers so we can dig deeper into how Frederick is working. And we will dig deeper into the dashboard later. Discount settings will set the stage for how Frederick will run at your business. From our settings on the left side, we can click on discount settings that we see towards the bottom. When we are offering a discount, we should have restrictions in place that make business sense and align with our sales goals, and Frederick gives us some control over that. First to consider is how frequently Frederick sends promotions to customers. And if there are any services, staff members, or days of the week that we never want to offer discounts for, we want to make sure to disable them from the list we'll see on this page in discount settings. Any item with a green check mark next to it will apply to the discounts offered through Frederick. And make sure to go through the entire list. You may have to scroll down the page to see everything and take your time. You may have services that you don't want to offer discounts for because they'll always be booked whether a discount is offered or not. Or there may be staff members that have an established clientele and don't want to offer discounts to get more clients, but it's great for new staff members that do need more clients. And the same goes for those days of the week. We may not want to offer discounts on our busiest days, but rather our slower days. And remember, the beauty of Frederick is we can set it and forget it. Automated campaigns are sent at a controlled pace based on client data without you having to constantly monitor your account. You want to make sure that Frederick is given the time to work its magic, so it's not recommended to change these settings all the time. 
Now let's get into smart marketing. The smart marketing campaigns offered in Frederick are tailored to your needs and the campaign settings allow for plenty of customization enabling you to target and discount based on your business needs. We can find smart marketing here from our list of settings on the left. Let's first look at text opt-in and then work our way up this list to the top. Text opt-in is getting consent from our clients to send them text messaging. And texting is highly regulated for marketing purposes, much more so than email. And unlike email, texting requires the, ex uh, the customer's express consent. It's a requirement in the U.S. And Frederick's text opt-in will invite people to receive texts and get them opted in, which will take care of the compliance, and one less thing for you to worry about. You'll also notice campaigns that support um, both email and text message. Those can go out either channel or both. This allows you to use Frederick as a text message marketing platform without email marketing features if you choose to. And we recommend to turn this feature on and enable it to send out those invites. And we have a few options on how many days after a recent appointment a customer will be invited to opt in. We can revise the text in the template if we choose to, and we can also send ourselves a sample text at any time if we'd like. Next is feedback and reviews. This is a great feature and one of the most popular in Frederick. Frederick identifies customers with a recent appointment and asks them to rate and review their experience. And it gives you the option to ask them to post their review on social media sites. This is something you'll definitely want to take advantage of. Be sure to add your social media links under the feedback and reviews section. That way, you can embed the widget to post these reviews in one place on your business website. And we'll want to turn this feature on and enable text messages if needed. Now, you may have done business with a company and then received an email or text from them afterwards asking one question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend? Just the other day, after I had paid for a local cleaning service, the company sent me an email asking this exact question. This is a standard question that is now used by all types of businesses near and far, including the likes of Apple and Amazon. It does a really good job at gauging customer loyalty and satisfaction, and allows Frederick to, dem or to generate your business's net promoter score. And this score, we can use this month by month, and we can compare it just to see how the business is doing. And the way the score works is based on this one simple question, which has a really high response rate. And you may be wondering, why not just use a regular survey? Traditional surveys typically take more time to complete. In your own daily life, how many times have you been on a website, get a pop-up message asking you to take a five-minute survey? And how many times have you actually taken that survey? Most of us don't want to waste five to 10 minutes on a survey, and this one question cuts straight to the point and allows the customer to answer with one click. With NPS, customers are classified by one of three ways based on the ratings they give, promoter, passive, or detractor. If a customer scores your business with a nine or 10, they are classified as a promoter. And that's a loyal customer that is quite likely to bring in new business. So Frederick will ask on the following screen, it'll say, hey, that's great. Would you mind providing a testimonial for us to use on our business website? And if the customer writes a review, we have the option to ask to post reviews to social media set to yes. And Frederick will ask as a last step, hey, would you mind posting your review on Yelp or Facebook? Of course, it is up to the customer if they do post the review or not, but Frederick makes it really easy for the customer to just copy and paste reviews. But what if clients rate the business with an eight or lower? Frederick will ask the customer to leave a review still just to let your business know any ways uh, that they can improve in the future, but they are not asked to post it online. It is all internal. So you, as the business owner, can collect the feedback. And that way, if there is something that needs to be addressed, 
you have the opportunity to reach out. So you will see how this feature gets some middle ground with leaving reviews. We all know how damaging a negative review can be on Yelp, for example, and maybe the customer didn't want to complain publicly, but wanted to let you know about something regarding their recent experience. And we can use the widget under the Feedback and Reviews section to post all of these reviews on our business listings. And we'll notice we have the button here to get the code, which makes it super easy for everyone to copy and paste the reviews on our business websites. Next up, we will talk about Reminder to Book Again. This is the first reminder and attempt that Frederick makes to bring customers back. And there is no discount offered with this reminder, which makes this campaign a bit different than the rest that we see here in Smart Marketing. What makes this a great campaign is that sometimes clients just need that reminder, that nudge to book an appointment and not a discount. Clients that don't respond to this reminder and are not on the calendar will then become eligible for discounts. And we'll see in most of the campaigns here the option to turn it on and turn on text messages as well. How soon this reminder is sent after a client's last appointment is really up to you and the services that you offer. 60 days is the default here, but no one knows better than you how often your clients book. So just think about your clients and the services you offer. If they usually book once a month, you may want to send this reminder out 45 days after their last appointment. We can personalize the subject line and the body of the message if we want to give it our own personal flair, but what is pre-populated there uh, is pretty effective, so you don't need to worry about personalizing it if you don't want to. Additionally, within these campaigns, we'll always find the options to see an example or even send ourselves an email or text so we know exactly what our clients are going to see from Frederick. And here is an example of what the Reminder to Book Again email looks like. With this campaign, clients can have Frederick remind them to book their next appointment over the next, two, uh, next few weeks by choosing a reminder time frame if they are not ready to book at that moment when they receive this email. As we go along with the rest of these campaign settings, you're going to see the default settings for discounts and thresholds. The default campaign settings in Frederick are typically very successful for our clients, and it's recommended to let Frederick work its magic and not change the default campaign settings for some time. Now, should you want to alter them, make sure that whatever discounts you are putting in place do not conflict with any existing specials or promotions. Your clients should never think they'll get a better deal outside of Frederick or else they won't take advantage of the Frederick discounts. And we really want to see a return on investment or that ROI with Frederick, so it's a really good practice to make sure the highest discount offers are coming directly from Frederick. Next is Rescue Lost Customers. This is the highest, most compelling offer Frederick has that we want to utilize because the focus of this campaign, campaign is to bring back customers that haven't booked in a really long time, which makes them highly unlikely to book again in the future. We can turn this on and enable text messages. The lost customer threshold or last visit date of these clients is 180 days or six months by default. And here is how the campaign works. Based on this threshold here, 180 days, when a customer hasn't booked an appointment in 180 days and Frederick has tried to get this customer to book before with the other offers that it, it'll send out without success, only then does this campaign come into play. This campaign will invite this customer to come back for an appointment, and they will only be able to book what you've enabled within your discount settings. And you'll also notice this offer will expire seven days after they receive it. And if we want to enable a discount with this campaign, we can switch this on here. And the 35% is uh, the default discount for this campaign, but we do see the options to switch this to a, a money off or a dollar amount off or a custom offer. And we will see 
these three discount options in all of the campaigns that we offer discounts within. And custom, that just means we can freehand write whatever we want. Maybe it's a free product or an extended service or something else that is not a percentage or dollar off. We just want to keep in mind when we make a custom offer in Frederick here, we have to manually apply that custom offer, you know, for example, that free product into the booking system, into the order itself. Frederick can't automate the custom offers like it can automate the 35% off or a dollar off. Just keep that in mind and you may want to let your clients know that they'll want to show you their email or text offer in order to redeem that. And here's an example of the rescue lost customer email. And again, this is giving the highest discount that Frederick has to offer. Now raise your hand if you are more likely to spend money at a business that is recommended by a trusted relative or friend rather than one you looked up online. Frederick's referral program will help us use our happy customers to grow our business. So think about it. Do you have anything in place today for a referral program? It's pretty common not to have one in place. Even some of the largest businesses are without a referral program because it can be tedious and a pain to track and manage. But with Frederick by your side, you can easily reward your customers for bringing you more business. Frederick will spread awareness about the referral program and automatically ask customers to join after a recent appointment if we have the referral program enabled. There are four parts to setting up this program. And the first one is an offer to a brand new client that is high quality because they are referred from an existing client. And we want to give this new client incentive to book for the first time, so we'll see a default 25% off to catch their attention. Just remember we can change it through those options if we would like to. New referrals are going to receive this email because Frederick is doing its job to invite your existing clients to sign up and share their unique referral links, whether they're sharing that on Facebook or Twitter, or maybe they're emailing, emailing it directly to others. And that's part two of the setup. Now any new client that clicks an existing customer's referral link, they'll be able to book and receive either a percentage or a dollar off. But we just want to keep in mind that giving a dollar off typically works best if our services have similar pricing. Otherwise we do run the risk of hurting ourselves with those lower priced services. Now we're going to move into the second part, which is for Frederick to ask existing customers for referrals. And when an existing customer shares their referral link on social media, it has the potential to reach their entire social network, which is giving your business way more exposure. So even though it may not be someone saying to someone else face to face, you should totally book an appointment here, the client is still given the incentive to share online as well. So with part two, Frederick will reach out to your existing clients to get them signed up, but Frederick is smart enough to wait until those reviews come in regarding the net promoter score. It's going to wait until those reviews come in first because Frederick knows not to invite a detractor to join the referral program since they're unlikely to join and refer. And then in part three, that's where we decide how to reward an existing client for referring a new one. And here is an example of that first client referral email. So thank you for the referral. Here's 25% off your next service. The existing client won't receive this reward for every referral. This is just for their first referral. And the last part is part four. And this is where we can set up additional rewards to give to existing clients that have already referred a new client to us. And we can change this up. We can offer more or less for additional rewards. Maybe we even require more referrals before the existing client becomes eligible to receive that next reward there. So we can add a bit of a competitive component to it with that and motivate clients to refer more. And however you set up the additional offer though, just make sure it aligns with your business sales goals. And however we do decide to set up the additional reward, it can't be combined with other deals. It is only good on their next service and it will expire six months after they receive it. As a side note, you'll notice the campaign emails uh, state that clients must book online using the links provided to redeem the offers. And when booking through Frederick, the discount will automatically apply to the appointment, which we'll be able to see in the appointment details. 
if a client does call to book, it's just a best practice to let them know to book through Frederick, or rather by clicking on the link here so they can claim the offer. You can book these appointments over the phone and you will probably have a few clients that will only book over the phone. And for those appointments that are being booked over the phone that are coming from Frederick, you just want to make sure the client lets you know that they have the discount to apply and uh, that way you'll need to apply the discount manually when you go to check out the appointment. So for those phone appointments, you may want to let clients know that they'll have to show you their offer on their phone when they come in for the appointment. But just remember, it does save the business time if we let Frederick automate that process for us and have clients book directly from the links in the Frederick emails. Next up, we will talk about limited time specials. When this is turned on, Frederick says, hey, I'm going to give you a week to book your next appointment, but in exchange, you're getting a lower discount than other campaign offers. And we'll see the option to turn that on and text messages as well. Now the default discount for this one is only 15%. It's the lowest default discount that Frederick offers and for good reason. It is just due to the longer time and flexibility that it gives customers to book. And it's being sent out long before Rescue Lost customers, uh, if you have Rescue Lost customers turned on. This limited time special campaign is good for capturing clients that weren't able to redeem other offers that are more time sensitive and require clients to book the same day. So this gives the client a little bit more time to book with that percentage off for that discount. The limited time special campaign email has a button that says, I'm interested, but I can't make it at this time, which is really helpful. This is actually a great feedback to get from a client that's engaged with these campaigns. So Frederick knows in the future that this client is highly likely to book versus a client that opened the email and did nothing or didn't open the email at all. No other retention tool allows for this type of feedback. Now you might be thinking, wait, there's a lot of discounts being given. How do I know the same client isn't receiving all of these discounts? For clients that have been seen very recently, within the past few months, and have not booked another appointment, Frederick will send them that reminder to book again campaign email, which reminds them to book again at full price first. And then after more time goes by without the client booking, usually somewhere between 45 and 60 days, Frederick will then start to send the other campaign discount emails. And if those ones don't work, then Rescue Lost Customers campaign, that's when that will kick in for clients that haven't booked in six months or longer or whatever threshold you decide to enter in for Rescue Lost Customers. It's really important to know that Frederick is never targeting your whole customer database at once. It's only targeting small groups at a time. Next is fill slow days. And with this one, the offer will be more restricted by a bit than limited time specials, but the default discount is 5% more. And we can turn this on and enable text messages. We can also enable discounts through this campaign if we want to offer one. This campaign is triggered based on how busy your schedule is going to be for next week. Frederick is checking your calendar a week ahead to see how booked you are. And if it's below the threshold that we have entered here, then this offer will go out. So we have 50% entered here as the threshold. So when that's the threshold, Frederick looks at the calendar a week from today to see how busy we are. And if it's only 30% booked, Frederick will send out this offer to eligible clients until it's 50% booked. So essentially with this campaign, Frederick scans your calendar for a week from today, every day, and sends offers as needed. And 20% is a good discount for this one because this campaign is restrictive and not everyone will be able to make it in on the days it can be used. Just remember, we can change it to a different offer if we'd prefer. Now we may want to change the utilization threshold here depending on how busy your business usually is for the next week out. So ask yourself, on your busiest days, how booked are you a week out? Is it 
then change the threshold to that. If you usually get consistent bookings the week of, that's fantastic, but it also feels good to get pre-bookings, and Frederick can help you fill in the calendar with, in advance with this campaign. And after a while, you may notice an increase in pre-bookings, and maybe you would want to make sure to change the threshold again. So if one of your business goals this year is to have your calendar booked, for example, at least 60% a week in advance, this campaign can help you reach that goal. And here is an example of the Fill Slow Days email. Next up is Fill Last Minute Openings. This one is just looking at the schedule for tomorrow and the next day, seeing if there are any open spots for appointments, and if there are, it'll send out this campaign to clients who are due to come back who aren't scheduled yet. So we'll see where we can turn that on and enable text messages, and uh, we can enable a discount for this one or remove the discount or disable it. And since this offer has a little bit less flexibility with the date and possibly the services, 25% a good discount. Just remember, we can change it. This campaign works really well, and if we do want to further restrict it, we have the option of choosing what services this offer will apply to. So Frederick can let clients know that we're able to take them tomorrow, but they'll only get a discount if they book the services we check off from here. And here's an example of the Fill Last Minute Openings email. Remember, any client that currently has an appointment booked will never receive one of these offers. And every client that is due to come back will be reminded to book again at full price first, which is why that reminder to book again campaign is so important to have turned on. Clients will be eligible to, uh, to receive these restricted offers only after they haven't first responded to the reminder to book again at full price. Next up, we will talk about the Boost campaign. The Boost campaign allows us to send out our own custom discount, and we only use it when we want to, so we don't need to turn this on until we are ready to actually use it. Maybe we're having a really slow week and we decide to send a boost to any client that hasn't been in for at least a month for today, tomorrow, and the day after. That's a good discount. Uh, for example, you know, 25% off uh, pedicures only. And Frederick is already working for us each day to bring clients in. But if we need it to do more than that and we want to send out a custom campaign, this is when Boost comes in handy. Boost allows us to create a real-time campaign and we can limit which customers to send this offer to. Then we're going to select the days the Boost will be good for and we can give a percentage dollar off or custom offer. We can also limit the services this deal will apply to. And once we're finished setting this up, we'll click Save. And the Boost campaign will go out in about 10 to 15 minutes after we save it to everyone that is eligible to receive it. Boost will automatically turn off once the campaign goes out. And here's an example of that Boost campaign email that the customers would receive. And once we've gone through the settings, we can just sit back and let Frederick do its thing, and you will be notified by email when activity starts to happen. And as you're getting more business, just try to collect mobile numbers and emails, so that way Frederick always has a way to reach out to all of your clients. Let's check out the appointment reminders. Booker has enhanced SMS messaging, so we recommend to turn off these appointment reminders through Frederick because Booker can take care of this for you and allow a two-way SMS relationship. Now with text reminders, if you are using these ones, it is two-way messaging, uh, so customers can confirm appointments from texting. And next we are going to cover the dashboard in Frederick. Once Frederick has had some time to send out offers and clients start to engage with them, we will start to see data feed into the dashboard. The dashboard is a great way for us to measure our success with Frederick. We're going to see a pie chart that lets us know about our interactions beyond opens, and the more colorful the pie chart is, the more Frederick is engaging our clients. The blocks filled with data that we see here, they're called tiles. And most of the tiles that we see here can be clicked on, so that way we can see the report that calculated the number we see on the tile. So let's check these out. So we can click on New Visit or Estimated Revenue or Visit Revenue to see the Appointments Report. 
And we can filter through the report using the dropdowns along the top to see this information in a specific order. This report allows us to see the customer details, the appointment details, the revenue, and discount, and if the customer has been uh, or if the customer has been rescued or the source, which is the campaign that the client booked from. In that source column on the far right, we're able to see the specific campaign that brought this customer back and whether the customer booked directly from Frederick or not. So lots of great details here in this report. So you can see, for example, that first one along the top, they booked outside of Frederick, but the source was our Fill Last Minute Openings campaign. And you can see the next one below, they did book directly through Frederick there. If we click on the tile for rescued clients, that will also show the appointments report. This report is filtered to only show rescued clients. We can click on the tile for referral offers claimed or referral offers booked to open up the details for the claimed referrals report. This makes it really easy to see how successful a referral program can be. Below the pie chart on the dashboard, we're going to see more tiles, and we can click on Net Promoter Score or Feedback and Responses, or Feedback Responses, uh, to see our Feedback and Reviews report. Now, we covered Feedback and Reviews earlier in the setup, but I just want to highlight and bring your attention that this is the report where we would be able to find these customer reviews, and we can also see our NPS. Uh, so don't worry if your NPS seems low. The last time I checked Apple's and Amazon's, they were around 70, and it's out of 100. Uh, now the reviews, we do see the options there to publish the reviews or unpublish the reviews that have been published. So we have some middle ground there. We can sort these reviews by staff or service or any other option we see here on the left of the reviews. This enables us to notice any trends within the reviews that may be helpful over time. And we also recommend uh, keeping or uh, reviewing this feedback with your staff, whether it's positive or negative, so your staff will know where they excel and where there are opportunities for improvement. Having the ability to filter reviews like this allows you to address any issues that come up internally. Filtering reviews also allows you to not worry about negative reviews being seen publicly, which is invaluable when it comes to the business's reputation. Ratings and reviews are always observed by customers, whether that's on Google, Yelp, or Facebook, for example. And raise your hand if you've been traveling and you have looked for a spa on Yelp or Google and you're looking through the reviews to book a massage or a manicure, for example. And I'm sure if you've done that, you're just like me, scouring through reviews just to make sure that your money is well spent. And Frederick really gives you control over the reviews that are seen publicly. And if you have ever had the unfortunate experience of receiving a review that tarnishes your business's reputation, you will understand just how valuable it is to have this kind of control. We have a couple of newer features and enhancements we've added to Frederick that we do uh, want to let you know about to make your experience even better. And first, we're going to start with contact lists. Contact lists are the basis of who your campaigns and automations go out to. And we'll see two kinds of lists that we see here, static lists and smart lists that we can create. Now, static lists uh, allow us to pick exactly which customers that we want to send messages to. So we'll hand pick that ourselves. Smart lists uh, allow us to set filters such as a gender or a birthday month or a customer that's booked this type of service. Uh, lots of different filters there to create a smart list. And after we create a list of contacts through the contact list feature here in Frederick, uh, we can decide what to send them. And contact management is really something that Frederick is focusing on. So you have lots of filters, lots of ways to create these smart lists. The great thing about the smart lists is that they will automatically update as your clients meet the criteria. So for example, if I wanted to create a smart list of contacts that have booked an appointment within the last 30 days, you know, that list will always update 
as new clients that haven't booked massages yet start to book massages. They'll get included in the smart list. So it's pretty cool. Now the second feature is automations. Automations is one of the newest features of Frederick. Contacts that match certain sending preferences, they can be sent these automations. And these are a series of communications that go out. And the contact will receive these series of communications until they no longer qualify or your series of messages end. And we're able to create our own automations or we can use the ones that we've preloaded into the account. Now needless to say, this is a really uh, huge improvement of Frederick. It gives you a little bit of extra edge to market to your customers. So let's just take a closer look at a couple of automations. So the first automation we'll see is the birthday special automation. We can click on settings under the birthday special automation and we'll notice a little sidebar pop up. And from here we will see two settings, who it's sent to and what to send. Now for this automation, we have a smart list in place that captures customers with birthdays today. And we have also designed an email to use as well. And once that is all set, we can just turn it on and let Frederick do its job. And here's an example of the birthday email that is the default there in the account. And don't worry, you can always edit this email to fit your business needs. Next up is the Nurture Prospects Automation. This feature is great for targeting that specific group of people that might need a little nudge to convert into a full-time customer or maybe purchase a membership. Once we're in our Nurture Prospects Automations, we will click on settings that we see here and we'll get a sidebar pop-up with two options there, who we are sending it to and what to send. What to send has three potential emails that will be sent out depending on the customer's response. We have also designed these three emails for you to use as well. Now the first email that's sent out to the customer, uh, it'll give them an offer and if the customer books an appointment, then no other offers will be sent. If the customer doesn't respond to that first email, then a second email will go out 14 days after the first one. And if the customer books an appointment from that second email, no other offers would be sent. If the customer doesn't respond to the second email, then a third email will go out after 30 days uh, from the second one. And if the customer books an appointment from that one, no other offers would be sent. And since that would be the end of the series, there's only three emails that would go out in that series, they wouldn't receive anything after that either. Now with these automations, we have the ability to customize the delay between emails, meaning how many days pass between the emails being sent and the number of emails in a sequence. So I gave a three email sequence there, but we can include more or less emails and we can have those each go out a week apart, for example. And then you can save your options when everything is set and then turn it on and let Frederick do its job. Now last we're going to chat about scheduled campaigns. And whether you're announcing a special, sending a monthly newsletter, or just saying thanks, Frederick's scheduled campaign tool makes it quick and easy to reach all of your clients at once. And what's even better is you can create these directly from the marketing tab in Booker. We can select a template from our list of options here, and we can tailor it to our specific needs on step two. We can edit the template to make it our own from here, and we can edit the text, the images we see here. We can add buttons and images and more text. Lots of fun ways to customize this, lots of options. For example, if I want to change that picture there, I'll click on the image. From the pop-up, I can upload a new image from here. And I will have the option to choose from the expansive stock image library that comes with Frederick. But based on those options you see on the left, we can upload directly from our computers or from our social media accounts as well. Lots of options and customization there. We can also edit the text just by clicking into the text field area that we want to edit. And we'll see the text, uh, the toolbar appear at the top of that section. And we'll be able to change the alignment, we can change the color of the text, the size of it, we can make it bold, italicized, we can underline it. Uh, lots of customization there with just a few clicks of the mouse. And we also recommend using merge tags in these email campaigns to add a personal touch just because this can increase the likelihood of somebody opening up the email. All right, thank you for your patience there. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so we recommend using merge tags. Now what's a merge tag? Merge tags are short bits of code that you can add to these scheduled campaign emails, and then once they get sent out, they actually insert the corresponding data. For example, if we use the first name merge tag, it's automatically going to insert the first name of the recipient of the email once it gets sent out. So merge tags are great for personalization and can increase the likelihood of customers interacting with the email campaigns. You have probably all received emails you know, with your name included in it and might have been wondering how that happens, and it's through this feature here. And here is how you insert a merge tag. In the text box where you want to add that merge tag, click on the area where you actually want it to be placed. Wherever the cursor is blinking in this field, that is where the merge tag will be placed. We will click on the merge tag menu button, that A there at the top from the toolbar. And then we're going to choose what we want to, what data we want to plug into this text field here. First name is pretty common to use. And the merge tag will then be added into the email. And whenever or wherever the merge tag is placed, again, that is where that data will populate once it gets sent out. And we see this option in here to add this default text within a merge tag. And the default text is displayed if we have a contact record that wouldn't have the corresponding data for it. For example, uh, for the first name, not very likely, but if there wasn't a first name for that recipient of the email, it would just say, hello there. And just keep in mind, merge tags are not going to uh, show up in test emails. So if you go and test this out, you won't see it there. Now we can continue to customize the scheduled campaign. We can add sections to it by hovering our mouse over the campaign. And then we can click on the plus buttons that we see at the top and bottom of a section we're hovering over. And from here we can add more text, we can add another image, we can have an image side by side with text, we can add a button or a link, lots of options there. Lots of ways to customize this. We do recommend you go into your accounts, into your marketing tab, and play around with it, because there's a lot that we can do. For example, I can add links to any buttons that are showing up within this uh, campaign template here. So I can link that to my business website, and once I link that to the business website and it gets sent out, customers can click on that button, and it'll take them to my online booking site or maybe to my business website depending on the link I include here. And we can also link our social media sites directly to these scheduled campaigns as well. You'll see those social media buttons at the bottom of all these templates to choose from. So you just need to click on those uh, little buttons or those images and you can add a link there just like we added a link to that button uh, to the business website previously. Now once we have the email design, we can preview and test it. Uh, and then from here, if we like the way that it looks, then we can go ahead and move forward. But we can always send ourselves an exact test email, but you do have the options of seeing uh, what it would look like on a mobile device, uh, phone or tablet, or a computer there as well. Now, we can go ahead and click on Next to move on and fill in the last few details to get this launched. So from here, before we actually schedule the campaign to go out, we have to choose the customers that it's going to go to. So this is where these contact lists come into play, because we can send it to all of our contacts, or we can choose contact lists, and then we can choose from any one of the contact lists that we see available in the dropdown. And last, we will give the campaign a name. We will also give it a subject. And then we will set a date and time for it to go out. And once we're done, we'll click Schedule to finish up and schedule the campaign to go out. And once we're done with that, it'll automatically get sent out. And then here, back on that Frederick page in the Marketing tab, we'll be able to see how many customers this email campaign was sent to, how many customers opened it, and how many customers clicked on any of the links that we have in that email. Now long story short, Frederick's a pretty sound investment. Just within the first month, that revenue that's coming in from Frederick's should easily bring in two to four times the amount that you'd actually spend on the subscription itself. It is really easy to get Frederick to pay for itself and then some. 
don't forget to visit the Frederick Help Center. You can go to support.hirefrederick.com. You will find lots of great information there. We also have all of the Frederick Support uh, or Help Center articles. They're tied to Booker's Support Center as well. So you could search for Frederick-related content on Booker's Support Center, and it will pull up some of Frederick's Support Center articles also. Thanks for watching.